Hi everyone, this is Tron 3 Entertainment Unboxed. Today we're going to look at a solar charger and this sanitizing charger. Both are 10 amp batteries. Ooh, what a thrill. Usually you find around 8 amps. Now both uh, were presents that came from my company. This one I got for one Christmas and this one I got recently when they gave us a, a little bonus. So we went to the company uh, website and that's what I chose with the, uh, with the little bonus they gave me. Now with this... You can stick your phone in. You can wirelessly charge it. This is where the company logo would be, but I'm covering that, obviously. And we look at the capacity. You know, 10 amps. There's some pretty good specs over there. Yeah, the, the output being 5 volts at, at 2 amps. And uh, a wireless output, 5 watts. It's pretty darn good. But, but what about this? It's a sanitizer, too. Now, I can't even turn the sanitizer on when the lid is open because that's bad for your eyes. But you can see the emitters in here. And if you wonder, does it work? It's like, yeah, it runs for like five minutes, but you got to run it for like maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes, which means you got to keep pushing the button before it actually sanitizes your phone. It'd be a lot quicker and even more sanitary if you just use an alcohol wipe to clean your phone. But it holds 10 amps of power, or 10,000 milliamps. So that's a nice little little thing to be carrying around. And if you don't have alcohol wipes, at least you have some way of trying to keep your phone sanitary. Now, the wireless, uh, um, the solar one over here, if you wonder why there's a little white paper tape around it, it's because I keep it in the sun, it gets very hot, and I needed some way to keep the keep it from heating up like a hot brick. So I put some, some paper on it to, to uh, reflect a little bit of the sunlight. Now, here's the thing. I charged a couple of devices using this. And then I charge, I use this to charge that. Okay? I use the solar device to charge that. And once that was full, this was down to one light. Now, even though there are five lights here, it's, it works differently. One light indicates up to 30% charge. Two lights is 65% charge. Three lights is over 65% to 100%. And you, you may have like 80 or 90%, but you're still going to have a green light. Then you get a red light and a green light. One is a 5-watt charge light. The other is a 10-watt charge light. If you get all five lights lit up, you pretty much have a full, full battery. But here's what's been going on. After I got this down to one light, I've been sticking this in the window every day for like six weeks. And it simply wasn't going on to the next light over there. I'm like, oh man, what's going on here? Why doesn't the next light go on? And I thought that maybe I I did something wrong when I charged it into the other battery. But then one day when I pushed the button, you see I have three lights now. And a green, and then it should flash to red. I only had the one light, and then one day it went boop. It went to the second light. I was like, yes. And then just as I was saying yes, it went boop. It dropped down to, to one light because turning it on ate up the energy, which put it on the next level. So I put it back in the sunlight. It's like I said, it's been about six weeks on average, maybe, maybe six hours of good sunlight a day. Maybe. But after six weeks of being only in the sun, charging only in the sun, you can see a few seconds ago that it actually actually was going to put a full charge on here now i know from reading the specs in full sunlight this solar cell which is a nice looking solar cell is giving you five volts at 150 milliamps and by doing a little ai research bing tells me that's maybe 900 900 milliamps a day and technically, maybe it'll take about 10 to 12 days to get a full charge, but that's not what's been happening here. It's been taking a whole lot longer, so I may not be getting as much sunlight as I think, or the charger just isn't working to the capacity, I hope. Oh, it's got a nice little light. I'm going to end up killing the battery a little more. It's, it's not very bright, but, you know, it's something if you need some light. And then you just press and hold it again until it turns off. So, what's the moral of the story? If you go camping with this, is this gonna give you all the power you need? Well, at, at 10,000 milliamps, yeah, you can charge your phone at least twice. Two full charges, 
with this with this battery over here. And we see it's still lighting on the back. You can get at least two full charges. But it's more of a thing where the solar is something like if you're going out camping, you want to leave it out in the sun all day to help keep it topped off. Because, uh, yeah, you might get a couple of days, maybe three days use out of it. So the bottom line is, will it charge to 100% using only solar power? And the answer is yes, eventually. I have not seen that happen yet, but it will. I'm going to continue to keep this in the sun until it's at 100% charge. Then one day when I plug it in to see if it lights up, if all five lights come on in the back, then I know it has a full, full charge. So this is good for a top-off charge. Um, they tell you don't leave it in the car. You know, if you leave it in the car, it's going to get hot. Now, if you're driving in the car, you take it out with you. You know, maybe you can do that. Uh, but it works. It's free energy, you know, and I get a charge out of free energy. So, can be worth it if uh, you're an enthusiast about solar. It's just that you're not going to get what you hope from it, but it does work and you will get energy. And if you're in a situation where you can't get any power, this is better than nothing. So, this is Tron 3 Entertainment. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But most of all, watch. Have a great day.